Hi guys, Jay Marie here with another vlog. Let me tell you something. I came across a video tonight that literally took me out my bed. Like I was in my bed working on some stuff and when I saw this video, I had to get dressed, put on my little bit of makeup and do a reaction to it because it is phenomenal. I don't know if you guys um, know or are, are, are familiar with Ace Metaphor, but he is, uh, I guess he's an influencer, you know, he gives advice about relationships and whatnot, but this video literally yucked me up my bed. So I'm here to do a reaction video and I hope you guys enjoy it. Listen, please, ladies, he came for us. So I need y'all to listen and just, just listen, watch, okay? Okay, good. You feel this is the reason you keep getting your heart broke. Your feelings is the reason you didn't accomplish your goals in life. Your feelings is the reason you've been slowed down on life's race. Your feelings is the reason you got those STDs. Your feelings is the reason you keep going back and back and back and back to the same person that keep hurting you. Your feelings, fuck your feelings, fam. I don't care nothing about them. I care about your future. You care more about your feelings than your future, and that's your problem. I'm going to leave by example. I don't care if your feelings get hurt. I don't care. As long as we can get you, because sometimes you got to break down somebody in order to build them up. And right now, you got all these different ideas in your head that things are supposed to be easy. That you are so great, you can change everybody. That ain't nobody going to reject you. That ain't how it works in life. You're more concerned about not hurting your feelings or not hurting somebody else's feelings. <laughs> that you don't do what you're supposed to do, which is to be true to yourself. Some of y'all care too much about people's feelings and perspectives and opinions about you. And not enough about what you feel about yourself. Every time you end your feelings, you end your feelings about somebody else. And not even about you. You don't even use your feelings for you. How do you feel about yourself? You can't even answer that. But I bet you can tell me how you feel about the last guy you done text. I bet you can. <laughs> You don't even use your feelings for the right things. And you think your feelings about a man. That's first world problems, fam. That's first world problems. <laughs> like, a, a man? And like, here's the thing. You be like, the man take you away from your future? Your dreams? Your ambitions? Just because you got feelings for him? Fuck your feelings, man. Fuck your feelings, man. We ain't in 12th grade no more, man. Life ain't all about whether you like somebody and they like you. Can you guys be healthy together? Can you guys uplift, upgrade, and elevate each other? Can you communicate in a healthy way? Are you better when you are with him and he is better when he is with you? Do you got the, ex the skills needed in order to have a lifelong productive relationship and those skills are being displayed now? If not, fuck your feelings. I don't care nothing about them. I don't care nothing about them. And that's what you got to see. Here's the thing. You guys are letting your, your heart override your brain. You are letting your feelings dictate your thinking. Matter of fact, you let your heart think for you. You let your feelings be the main source of what moves you're trying to make. Instead of your brain, why you think God gave you this? To not use it? To allow your heart to continue to override it? Because you and your feelings care about hell. Man, fuck your feelings. Let's talk about your progression. Let's talk about your 401k. Let's talk about are you caught up on your taxes? Let's talk about did you get that degree that you wanted? Let's talk about you living your truth. Let's talk about you taking your mind to another level. Let's talk about what book you read last. Let's talk about your children that you still got that depend on you to rear them. Let's talk about the fact that your kid is seven and can't even spell his damn name. Let's talk about the fact that right now he supposed to be getting homeschooled, but you ain't homeschooling because you're worried about some man. What? Let's talk about the fact you got a bus pass instead of a car. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about the fact 
because you need that stimulus check. Because you've been checking for guys and not checking your bank account. Yikes. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about your edges. Edges? <laughs> out of in control. Your edges are out of control. Out of control. You be, you be getting those micros and you be letting them put it right there on your baby hairs. Now you ain't got no edges. You ain't got no edges? How you let them put the micros right on your baby hairs? <laughs> And now your edge is gone. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Let's talk about your nails. They fucked up too. What I'm trying to tell you is there's a lot in your life that we need to be focusing on. But instead of focusing on those things, we're focusing about how you feel about man. Let me ask you something. How do you feel about yourself? video because he came for your life I whoever the supplies to and listen like I said in all my videos I say I've been there where my feelings had me you know having a high-speed chase down the road over a man doing the most but it comes a time in your life when you realize that things other things should be more important get some things in place get some things in place before you invest all your time and energy into whatever a, a woman chasing a woman chasing a man whoever Get yourself together first. You have to. So I just thought that's all I wanted to say. I had to react to this because this man came for our nails, our edges. He came for our soul, but it's the truth. Somebody need to hear this. Put your feelings aside for a minute. Focus on you, focus on your kids, focus on your mental health. These people here can do what they wanna do regardless. So you need to make sure you good first. Do you get it? Do you understand? I hope so. Y'all have a good day. Bye.